Hi, everyone. I'm Carrie Warnick, Program Coordinator for Multi-Region Purchasing Co-op, and welcome to a short walkthrough video of Bonfire as an evaluator of one of our new bids. If you're watching this video, you probably signed up, but I want to take you through all the steps. So let me share my screen. So the first thing I want to show you is the sign-up sheet, and you are required to enter your information in each one of these columns. Now, when you get to the bids you plan to evaluate, I will have a list of all four, and you can just enter something as uh, simple as produce, milk, coffee. We really only have three bids right now that we are looking at, and sometimes, depending on which year it is, we may have more new bids to evaluate. Now, please keep in mind that evaluation period means you are privy to several confidential documents. And you'll notice on this sign-up sheet, there is an instructions tab. And if you click on that, it gives you all the details about becoming an evaluator and which bids you're evaluating, rules to keep in mind that you're looking at confidential information. There should be no talking with others about what you see you are going to have the ability to look at pricing, even though right after we open a bid and during review and evaluation, often there is pricing negotiation. So sometimes when you are looking at pricing, it may change for the better, or it may not change at all. It just depends on how our negotiation goes if we feel we need to do so. Also, you get a list of all the criteria and who is scoring what. So there are a few of the criteria that the multi-region co-op staff does score because it's a mathematical calculation and not subjective, such as quality of vendors' goods, extent to which the goods or services meet your needs, the district's needs, and then other relevant factors. One thing to keep in mind as you are evaluating, it, you must evaluate every uh, bitter in that response, which means there could be just two or there could be upwards to seven. Also, if you are unfamiliar with a vendor, you must give full points, such as quality of goods, unless we have the ability to get a sample in to allow you to sample the food that you're unfamiliar with, which sometimes can happen pretty quickly. And sometimes we don't have that, that flexibility based on our time frame. So just a couple of things to keep in mind, but please do read through all the instructions to be an evaluator. There's also a non-disclosure agreement. You are required to read it and understand it. Disclosing confidential information during an evaluation period, if it is discovered, is considered collusion, a conflict of interest, it could kill the bid and force multi-region co-op to, to go back out for a new bid. And it also could prevent you from participating on the bid when we re-bid. So please, we take this very seriously. As an evaluator, you're held to a non-disclosure agreement and it is part of the sign-up. And you'll notice on the sign-up sheet, as you fill in your district and uh, personal information, you are asked in that last column, do you agree to the non-disclosure confidentiality terms? And you're going to type in yes. Okay, enough about the sign-up sheet. All right, when you sign up, I will be adding you to the evaluation committee in Bonfire. It will automatically produce an email to the email you provide in the sign-up sheet. It's going to look like this. It will come from Bonfire, no reply. The subject line will be, you were made a reviewer of whichever RFP. Another thing I want to say about that is that if you received an invitation to be an evaluator on a bid, it means I am showing you as a participating district on that bid you are not allowed to evaluate bids that you're not participating on, obviously. So you may receive two or three invitations if you are participating on say all three bids. So, or four or five, however many we're evaluating at the time. 
So you're going to open this up. And many of you have already been evaluators in Bonfire. So this will just be a refresher and reminder of how it functions and what you do to evaluate. Some of you will be brand new, and this will be a first experience. A couple of things to know. There is a three-minute training video to help you get started, but I'm doing that right here in this video. But feel free to watch it. All you'll need to do is click on View the Project. It will open up the login screen for the specific bid you are evaluating. You will enter your email address and your password. If you cannot remember your password, which this morning I did have to reset mine, you'll simply click on forgot your password and it'll take you through the prompts. If you do remember your password, I am jealous. And just go ahead and enter it and click on login. It's going to open up the exact bid you are evaluating. And that home page is going to look like this. Now, you can X that out if you don't want to do the survey there. That's a bonfire, how's it going kind of survey. So you're going to see the details, which gives you basically the timelines. You can, you can pop up here and see, you know, what was going on at each point of the timeline. Or an easier read is just to come down to the events and it tells you uh, when did this open, March 9th, when were questions due, and when did it close. And we had a public opening and we downloaded all the responses received. You can take a look at the file. So over here in the left navigation panel, there are several things you can click on. So files are the documents that multi-region co-op created. And we didn't have any internal files. We typically never do that, but the public files. This is what the vendors downloaded and were required to complete and then upload and submit for a successful bid response. So if you wanted to take a look at all the documents that we create, that's fine. Not super important for this particular um, situation, but just know that those are there. Messages. Any questions that came in or public notices will be here. Now, you're not going to see any internal discussions, but you can certainly we didn't have any. That's why on this particular bid. But you will see that uh, maybe I had to send out updates and why. So you can kind of see the life of the public notices sent out. If there was a vendor question, it would also show up here. We did not have any vendor questions on fresh produce this time. So uh, you just click on it and it gives you the message that was sent out. Now, submissions. This particular bid did receive seven bid responses. Now this is where you will click to start your evaluating. And remember, you must evaluate each vendor. So if you happen to sign up for produce this time, you will be evaluating seven vendors. So please be mindful of the amount of time you have and the time frame for evaluating. I am <clears throat> trying to give as much time as possible, and you should see the um, closing date for evaluations in the email you received from me, which included the link to this video. Now, you will see that there are documents that you have access to, and this is where the confidential information comes into uh, the picture. Now, obviously, there's some things that are not confidential, like a W-9 or their agreement with all the federal regulations and the Texas regulations. Uh, ignore the no response form because that was there um, if they were not going to respond to the bid. But you can see if they didn't submit a document, it's going to show no documents. Uh, list of members uh, with several of our bids. Sometimes they must check the box on which members they can service because not all vendors service the entire co-op because we are very spread out. References, you can see who they put for references. Uh, this is something that multi-region does follow up on. We have a complete scorecard that we do uh, that produces um, a total points and it's a mathematical equation that we use to determine the criteria score. And take a look at their delivery fees. I am including in the email an attachment that is a bid checklist, an overview of what we reviewed in their documents. You're going to get a nice overview of where did a vendor have a perfect bid response and submission? Where did a vendor fall short? Did they fail to submit a document? Did they fail to sign on one of the documents? So you're going to get a nice overview just in one spreadsheet, but please feel free to look at any of the specifics. 
the pricing is is a bid table and it always has this uh, BT dash and a few letters and numbers. So this is the bid table and you're certainly welcome to open it up and look at it. Right now, I'm still uh, starting the negotiation of pricing or where maybe a bid table was not understood, especially with produce. So uh, working with a couple of the vendors on that. All right, now to the fun stuff. So obviously Bonfire is going to track your progress on your evaluations. Right now, obviously I have not started. All I need to do is click on scorecard and I'm starting with Brothers Food Service. And then you're gonna see that you are scoring three criteria. So while seven vendors does feel a little bit heavy, you really only have three of those subjective criteria based on experience with vendors that you as a district are scoring. And you get to see total points you can give. To start, you're just gonna click on score for each criteria. You will click on the box where you're gonna enter how many points. So the quality of the vendor's goods, you may wanna give um, an eight or nine or even a 10 if you feel that their, their produce is just stellar. High score reasons, you're gonna to need to click on this because you do have to select a reason. And these are auto-populated. If none of these really fit why you gave a high score, click on other. And now you're gonna to need to give a comment. You do have to give a comment on every single one. So this is where scoring each criteria can become a little more time consuming. It can be something as simple as uh, great products if you want. I've seen some really great comments uh, that are more full and detailed, especially if you're gonna give a low score, we'd like to see why. That's important for all the reviewers to see once we share all the reviews and, and tally the final evaluation score. So you're gonna pick that primary reason, you're gonna enter your comment, and then you're gonna click on save score. And now you've got your first one done. Moving on to the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish these. Okay, maybe I'm going to give them a 13. And I'm gonna go ahead and click other. And let's say good variety, this morning would like to see more okay save score and then other relevant factors now i am going to share the evaluation criteria because it gives a full description of what are other relevant factors this is if known and keep in mind if you're not familiar enough you have to give full points do they have an online ordering system that makes it easy for you have they provided a good phone number or is there an 800 number you have to call with orders or questions? Those are, are pretty um, involved situations if it's an 800 number. We always try to get a good phone number, but sometimes it doesn't always pan out that way. Do they have a delivery fee and is it really high or is it a nice low delivery fee or a minimum order requirement? That can be an other relevant factor. If you've worked with the vendor in the past, have they been very quick to respond. Have they provided reports that were easy to understand and they responded quickly with the report? So it can be many different factors. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and put high score there. Um, you know, this has been a, a good company in the past to work with, um, no issues. That could be another thing, but maybe there hasn't been any, any kind of issues in the past. So other relevant factors can be a variety of things. I'm gonna save my score. And now I have scored all three. I get to see the score I entered, my comments, and that's saved automatically. I simply click on hide. And it just means that goes away. And I'm back to the screen. And now look at my progress, done. Now, if I were to score another one and I only did one or two questions, so let's say we go to Brothers Produce, and maybe I haven't worked with this vendor and I don't know a lot about them. So I've got to give full points. I'm gonna put other, um, and I'm gonna type in unfamiliar with vendor. This lets the evaluation team at MRPC know that the reason you gave full points and selected other is because you're unfamiliar. 
It also lets TDA know during their procurement reviews that we have been fair and not deemed a vendor just because we didn't know them. And that is very important because that can produce a finding during a procurement review. I'm gonna save the score, but I got pulled away into the kitchen. I've got to run, go do something else. Maybe I've got a meeting. And so now when I step back into Bonfire, I can see that, okay, I, oh yes, I did finish Brothers, but I need to finish up Brothers Produce. Now, the reason you're seeing two companies, if you're not informed about Brothers, is that the two brothers separated um, and created two separate companies, but did not want to let go of the well-known Brothers brand name for a distributor. So one calls their company Brothers Food Service, the other one calls their company Brothers Produce. That's why you're seeing, and they are two separate companies. So do not think that it's just a double submission by the same company. All right, this is how you do an evaluation in Bonfire. And once you're done, you just simply log out. There's no save button uh, or anything like that. So, Thank you for watching the video, and I do appreciate that you have signed up for an evaluation committee because it is very helpful to multi-region co-op. We do strive to have as many evaluators as possible, and every participating member is invited to sign up to be a committee, uh, evaluation committee member. It is open to everyone and completely voluntary. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, uh, enjoy the evaluation. Thank you.